Hello everyone, welcome back to my new flight career in Microsoft Flight Sim. This is my second flight in the C-46. The first one was sort of fraught, but I'm going to pick up a flight to VOBL from VAAU. So that is from uh, central India to southern India to Bangalore. And I will be carrying vegetables, 17,662 pounds of vegetables. And it's just a matter of it not exceeding three hours and 57 minutes, about 422 nautical miles, about the same length as the previous flight. Uh, I did have the option of carrying caviar again, uh, 17,784 pounds of caviar. The thing about caviar is that uh, at that weight, it probably makes sense that they're paying me so much to carry that much caviar, at least. Uh, well, I don't know much about caviar, but my sense is that it is a luxury good. But anyway, vegetables it will be. And that's a healthy length for the runway. So I'm going to uh, try to get as much fuel as possible, might as well. I'd rather have it all in a single tank. The center tank will be fine. That's already more than I've purchased, I think, yeah. So payload-wise, pretty full up. In fact, we need more than that. Okay, that will be enough. Kempe Gouda International. Live and live weather as well. But I will start on the runway. The startup procedure wasn't anything too special anyway. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Okay, it's happy with the payload. That's all I care about. That and the fact that we're on the right tanks. Alright. Releasing brakes and here we go. I'll try to take it from out here. Mostly when people have an exterior shot of takeoff or landing, they're using a replay function or replay app. Weak. Alright. Transporter. Good flight. Up we go. Gotta have to be fairly efficient with this. Very dusty day around here. Passing right by this very dangerous hill. I'll be needing some height here. Yep, it's turning me. So the bank doesn't seem to be right. Alright, looking good. We're at 4,000 feet and climbing very modestly and gradually. I expect I have about two hours worth of fuel. So we better go a little bit faster than this, but still climbing, so... Not necessarily a problem. Well, the dust has cleared up. Better view from out, uh, from out the window. Looking reasonably good around here. Alright, leveling out at 8,000 feet. Well, looks like what I can get is about 185 knots. Maybe I'm drifting up a little bit here, but not as fast as the previous flight. Alright, now 200 nautical miles away from Bangalore and about halfway through the flight, therefore, about an hour away and holding at about 8,000 feet. Um, no problems except for the fact that I have to constantly fiddle with the, the Sperry Gyro. And it is not that kind of autopilot. I always have to adjust the everything. I have to adjust everything. But we are cruising right along. 
somewhat easier than constantly retrimming. But I do have to keep an eye on it. And this river is apparently the Krishna River. I wasn't aware that Krishna had a river named after him, but there we are. Other side of the plane. Uh, it's drifting rightward again. Keeps doing that, no matter what I try to do. Alright, now approaching the airport and getting ready to communicate. And taking it off of autopilot. Okay. Nine left. Runway height is a uh, whopping 2,964 feet. And I keep losing connection and it keeps trying to get rid of the scenery for me. Alright, scenery looking good as long as the internet connection holds out. Actually very well detailed around here. Okay, hazy again now. As I turn towards the runway. Okay, landing gear out. Whoa, very wobbly side to side. Okay, settle down. Whoa, these, uh, those, those are floating quite high, those lights. Those lights are much higher than they need to be. Oh, the wheels are there. The landing I've seen. Yeah, but 152 is not bad. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Okay, okay, no, get that tailwheel down. I guess we only have gates here. Alpha 412. What the heck is that sound? That is a weird sound. Okay, well, I don't know where gate Alpha 3 is. This must be a custom airport. Those lights are a little bit high, though. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna park over here. I mean, they've got those sorts of things which are sort of custom looking. There's a lot of weird sounds here, though. Okay, I'm off the side, but I don't know whether I should be between the lines or on the line. I guess it's between the lines, but it's too late for that now. Somebody's going to get mad at me. All right. Two hours and 30 minutes. Okay, pilot. The cargo will be removed as quickly as possible. Rented aircraft running costs 83000 Transporter from dispatch. Everything seems okay. Well, the at least I got 314000 from ended. it. All right. So that's good. We're at 500000 And... You can start your engine now. I guess I'll give up the DC-3. Still like the DC-3 better, but, you know, that's, I mean, 4,000 per day is not that bad. But anyway, uh, basically, I've got 1.35 million to work with there, and then the loan, I could get a loan for a million. So that's good. Now, what planes do we have here? I want the DC-6, but, well... Not the MU-2 again. The longitude, I don't see the point, and I guess maybe they pay well. But it takes 7.5 million deposit to go with the 737-600. The best loan I could get is the 5 million I, w I need. 
I need to be a senior captain to get a 10 million one. And I'm not there yet. As far as the DC-6s... Well, that's a lot of DC-6s around. But we I can only do a rental. So 2.6 million is the cheapest. And that's 603 nautical miles away. Closer one is 3 million. So not within the 1 million loan. I would need a bigger loan to get that. So I will wait. It's been a few days since my previous flight and what I have here is a flight from VOBL to VOBZ uh, which will take uh, I think about an hour and a half and it's just one of those that limits you your flight time and they're asking for two hours and 55 minutes which is fine but it's 16,442 pounds of meat that has to go to Vijayawada so that is the flight there and I'm gonna pick it up. I'm deliberately picking a shorter flight because of the time of day. I don't have enough time for a longer flight. So that's why I'm going with this one. But I think it might be the last flight in the C-46. Uh, after I get this, of course, I still can get back the deposit for the DC-3. And then I'm looking to take out maybe not just the $1 million loan, but the $500,000 loan and then get the DC-6. Because, well, the DC-6 is a plane I wanted to fly more of. I did get it from PMDG and I haven't really put it through its paces. So that is the goal. So with that, let me get everything set up in here properly. There's our flight. And I, I'll buy extra fuel. Basically, I'll just top it off, get capacity. All right, I'll take that as close enough. Let's go. Welcome back, Captain. It looks like the weather is perfect for flying. All right, we're all set as far as the plane is concerned. The weather is delightful. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, well, it's just a haze because we can see clouds there and the sun. It's just a ground haze. Okay, it seems fine with the cargo mass. And we have our destination there. Okay. Well, I'm hearing some sound over to the right, which I don't know about. Okay, I've taken off. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. And trying to get through the haze. All right, up we go. Okay, climbing with the autopilot active. So far, so good as far as it obeying the heading. And the ground speed is good, 184 knots. Just a uh, seven knot crosswind though, and there's no uh, wind helping us. Yep, definitely a hazy day as we are cruising currently at 5,000 feet, but I'll climb to 10,000. Oh, well, it did not hold 42 as I was looking for here. Hmm. Still don't know about this thing. No, let's bank adjust that a bit. All right, I think I'll level out at 8,000. It uh, isn't climbing all that well anyway. The mist has cleared up. Very clear view of the landscape here. Andhra Pradesh, that is where we are. Just entering it. It's not going to be holding a particular altitude, that is not how the gyroscope, uh, gyro pilot works, but... Well, it'll do its best. Well, I'm well into the flight here, and the landscape has mostly been looking pretty consistent like that back there. It's basically been all like that. And then there's this patch. 
And I'm curious about this patch here, this patch of fields, which looks very different from everything else. And it's very obviously not right. I mean, uh, it, it just can't be like this, I feel like. It's almost like a cartoon version of fields, but could it be like this? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything else I've been looking at. Like, those... These colors are just so flat. They're like watercolor, they're like painted. And the fact that the boundaries are so obviously edgy doesn't help me think that this is correct. Like those bits. Clearly low data areas. So anyway, there is this bit here as we continue to approach the destination. Still at least one third of the way to go, so maybe like 40 minutes. I'll just stick the view to the nicer looking side. Alright, crossing a fairly large river and getting ready for landing here. This is the Krishna River. We've crossed it before on the way south, now crossing it again on the way north. And I'm going to start descending here. Uh, I don't really think the autopilot's gonna respond to me at all. Okay. Off of autopilot. Well, that's the airport right there. Unlike the previous airport, it's practically at sea level. Okay, well, we're cleared. Okay, well, that's hazy again. Okay, don't try this approach. <laughs> do not... Yeah, don't do this. We have touchdown. Okay. Maybe maybe that was a touchdown. <laughs> Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. It will down. Well, all right. That yeah, we're down. Let's not talk about it. It was light. <laughs> the landing gear wasn't hurt. It just wasn't particularly on the runway. There's only taxi for takeoff options. I think um I think I'll just park off to the side. All right. We're here. 1 hour and 35 minutes. Cargo unloading in progress. Stand by, pilot. Transporter from dispatch. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Okay, so 631,000 and... Well, it looks like there is a DC-6 here, but it's full cost. It's not a rental. Mm. But there is a rental 186 nautical miles away. That's not too bad. Uh, but... Yeah, no, that is the cheapest one on the list. 19 million is tempting, but uh, 2.5 million deposit for the rental one. And its running costs will be less than the C46. Otherwise, I'd probably go for the C46 for a little bit longer, but uh, the costs are too much. I'm going to uh, return the rented aircraft, the DC-3, and get my deposit back. Okay. And then when we return this one, I'll get 211,000. So, I'm gonna take the million dollar loan. 
I'm gonna take the 500,000 to meet costs for a little while. And then... I am... Oop, going to go ahead and rent this one. Uh, Air, American Airlines Air Freight livery. Well, the only way I can get the Pan Am livery is if we... Uh, well, the problem with this one, well, it does say passenger, even though the A version of the DC-6 is a pure cargo thing. But it doesn't care about that, fortunately. Oh, but it says passenger zero there. Ooh, well, we'll be stuck doing cargo only. But at least it has a 21,000 payload capacity. Uh, that's not that much more than the C-46. The C-46 had 19,000, but the DC-6 will go faster, so that's nice. Not a huge amount faster, but... Anyway, tricycle gear, so I don't have to worry about that aspect, and it's a nicer plane, darn it. No offense to the C-46 or anything, but seriously. Um, uh, yeah. I wish it was a different livery, but and I the payload capacity is low on the DC six B, but I wish it was the DC six B. I'll rent this one for now. Maybe I'll find a different one later on as we go around. And I'll depart India. We are going to fly potentially around the world with it, or as long as it takes to get to the send thirty seven dash six hundred that I have also from PMDG. Okay, I better return it in one piece. I'll probably practice flying it off to the side before I uh, do anything with it seriously. But let me add Vons. All oh, right, we have to bring it here. Bring to this location. Oh, 2000 is nothing. Okay, now I can move myself over and I'm going to give this back. Okay. So I'll be flying the DC-6A, doing cargo missions, and ironically, the oh price per flight hour is actually a little bit more than the C-46, so I was wrong about that. But hopefully, I can make that up. But it is sad that I can't do any of the passenger missions for a little while. And I have abandoned the C-46 here. So, anyway, with that, moving on to bigger things, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.